Welcome back. This is Brian Stillman at CES 2020 with Be Terrific. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're down on the convention floor. We're in the North Hall. North Hall has lots of cars, automotive technology, things like that. And I'm here with UVI. UVI, uh, this is Yaron. Yaron, UVI is a vehicle inspection system, uh, portable I guess, is it portable? Well, uh, per, uh, As well. it's yeah. a vehicle inspection system. Tell me a little bit about UVI. So we are the first company in the world to create automatic inspection systems for vehicles. Imagine tomorrow you will drive your car into a repair shop, you'll go over a device, and within te 10 seconds you get a lovely report saying you got an oil leakage here, you got a problem with your exhaust pipe, your uh, rear tires are worn out and you need to change them. So we cre uh, created three products which use hardware, cameras and lighting, and artificial intelligence using deep learning. And basically, uh, if we look at the undercarriage, the tires, or the exterior, we can indicate and show within 10 seconds any kind of damage or defect in the vehicle. We work today with six car manufacturers, including Volvo, Toyota, Skoda, Daimler, and also we're with the Honda Accelerator here at CES. Uh, we can find things like damages for rental companies, you know, when you take the car and bring it back. We work with DOT, yearly annual checkups. We work with repair shops. We work with logistic companies, insurance companies. So any kind of player that wants to understand what's going on with the vehicle and get an objective report of any kind of damage, we do it and we do it fast. How does it work? So basically we developed a deep learning engine that already scanned over two million vehicles in three and a half years. And what we do is we uh, took the undercarriage and all around the vehicle and we cut it into components. And there's so many tier one companies in the world that create the components. So a lot of the exhaust pipes in a Volvo would be similar to the one in a Toyota, right? So we know each component and how it's supposed to look like after seeing so many components like that. And then if there's any problem with it, it's an anomaly. When we see enough anomalies, we can say if it's a broken part, if it's an oil leakage, if it's corrosion, if it's rust, if it's in tires, for example, if there's dry rot, we can even see the air pressure wow. and tell bus fleets if they need to change the, the tires or add more and more air. So it's really comprehensive. It's really covering many of the systems that are involved in your car, things that can go wrong, especially with wear and tear. You talked about bus fleets and things like that, stuff that you're going to start to see problems with over a period of time. Um, who, who are you marketing this to? Um, you know, you mentioned bus fleets, you mental, yeah. mentioned rental car agencies. Yeah. Um, what other types of industries are, is this meant for? So we started actually from the security market, for looking for bombs and threats. Oh, wow. So we were installed in over 100 sites around the world, embassies, banks, seaports, airports. So that's one avenue we go to. In the automotive world, today we work with the OEMs, so the different car manufacturers, and we have a, a long waiting list of more OEMs that we're going to work with. But this year, 2020, is going to be the year that we are penetrating the U.S. market, and we're going to get to every repair shop, every service station, every tire, a replacement station that we can and help customers get a quick service, help shops upsell more and uh, find more problems. You talked about predictive maintenance as well. So we're trying to get to a situation that in the US, any person with a car would be able to see results like this and, and get a report about his vehicle. Wow. So what are the components involved in the system? What, uh, you know, uh, how does it work? Uh, not, not, you know, you explained how it worked before, but what are the pieces involved that do what they need to do? So basically we have three pieces of hardware. The first one is an undercarriage scanner. If you see that black device below the vehicle over there, that's a portable version. It only weighs 25 pounds, so you can literally put it anywhere. So that's made out of cameras, industrial high resolution cameras, good lighting and a bit of mirrors. So we play with the angles. So that's that device. If you see on the side, there's the two tire scanners over there. Again, cameras and lighting. That's it, so we get a very good image, and then we can analyze it with the software that you talked about earlier. And if you see this arc, this we call Atlas. This lovely orange arc has over two dozen cameras from many different angles, and we have it in a few versions with different sets of lights, so we can see the reflections all over the vehicle, 360 degrees, and then look for scratches and dents down to half a millimeter. So today we work with this in the paint shops, but also with rental companies. So as I said, there's a lot of use cases for this kind of technology. You know, I didn't even realize the arch was part of the system. I thought it was just part of your booth. 
Um, it's uh, pretty incredible how many components go in, but it's also sort of amazing how you're able to take fairly simple technology and use it in advanced complex ways. Cameras, mirrors, lights, yeah. um, and then combine though with the, um, the, the, the uh, software that allows you to analyze this stuff and pull the information out of it, that's where it really seems to, to take off. Exactly, the software is what Make, what makes us unique actually because the moment we scanned over two million vehicles we have a lot of data once we have a lot of data we can understand really or, our, or, or this machine learning engine can understand how certain parts are supposed to look like and I think that's the exciting part cause, because we're taking something that used to be very manual and that same, same operator or mechanic can now sit with the tablet and know where to go and look at so the effectiveness and the volume is just four or five times higher in every point along the life cycle of the vehicle from the day it's being created or manufactured and through the, uh, through the logistical supply chain until it gets to its first dealership and also in all the stations afterwards, whether it's the MOT or the DOT test, the repair shop, uh, rentals and other stations in their life of, of this vehicle. So if, if, if there's a, a shop out there that wants to learn more about this, that wants to get it in their store, where can they find out more information? Yeah, we're actually, because we are launching in the States, we're, we're really looking for more and more franchises and shops and, and all these kind of people that give services and repair. They could just go to uvi.com and get in touch with us. And that's uveye.com. Exactly. Under vehicle I, UV eye.com and we have all the information the videos and ways to get in touch over there and we'd be glad to very quickly supply and schedule demos for this great well speaking of demos we'd like to see one right now to get an idea of how this works can you can you show us yeah sure great so uh, let's see uh, I'll just we'll follow you okay so uh, can you can we maybe do a quick demo of the system sure okay so meanwhile I'll just explain um, the vehicle that we have here is a rental. We can't really drive a vehicle in CES, so it's on a rail. Okay. But basically, uh, our, all of our systems are drive-through. So all you need to do is go and drive through the system. You don't need to stop, you don't need to wait, uh, up to 30 kilometers per hour. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to actually move the vehicle on the rail, and it's gonna go over the system. And then we'll be able to show you an example of a report of what we could find. Okay, during CES we've done a lot of demos here and we've been planting different objects, different stickers, different cards below the vehicle so we'll be able to actually see how that looks like. So as you can see the, the car is moving over the rail, over the rail. And if we walk towards the screen over here, this is what a service station an OEM operator, a mechanic, anyone could see a customer when they buy a second-hand car. As you can see, we have a live artificial intelligence indication of a scratch. You can see the stickers that we planted below earlier. You can see other kind of things that shouldn't be there. Basically, anything that shouldn't be there, we can see and see very quickly. So the idea is that whether it's a mechanical issue, whether it's a threat, whether it's something, a modification that shouldn't be there, we can detect, expose it, show it, it's all on the cloud, it's all analyzed, and it's a lovely service for any kind of shop or facility, but also for customers that have an objective, trustworthy... Customers will be able to see what's going on there. Exactly. It's not just enough for the shop to tell them they'll be able to get the visual. So when you buy a car, you'll be able to see the history. You'll wow. be able to see an objective history of the frame of it, of any real issues, of corrosion, right. Right. anything like that. And once you see it with your eye, you can trust it. So right. that's the bottom line. We can also show you the tires model, which is how we analyze with our tire scanner on the side. As you can see, it's a Yokohama branded uh, car uh, tire. We can read the DOT, we can read every, extract every writing on this. So for example, bus fleets or truck fleets use this as well. Super high resolution, no one in the market uses such high resolution cameras as us. So uh, basically we can give a very good status and indication to uh, prevent any kind of problems, in, uh, increase fuel efficiency as well. Because if you see there's uh, not enough air, you know, we, we're installed in bus fleets in the parking lot at night when the buses come in and out and then they can just indicate if we need to fill in more air so that's that's how we save more money for these clients 
Well, it's great. It's a great system. It clearly shows, you know, more detail than I expected to see. Uh, all those cameras, all those lights, uh, definitely an effective way. Uh, I, as a consumer, have a clear picture of what it looks like, and certainly the professionals will be able to look at it and understand what they're seeing. Thank you so much for letting us check out your product. Uh, UVI, um, it is a, a vehicle inspection system. Um, stick around. We're going to be continuing to bring you coverage of CES 2020. We'll be down on the show floor for the last uh, few minutes of the day, and then we'll be bringing you more from the studio tomorrow. Don't go away. We'll be back.